Tristan, thank you for giving us some of your time today. Um, tell us a bit about that phone call, when you got the phone call saying that you've been called up to the Proteus. Um, yeah, I was very excited. Um, I actually just woken up, so I, yeah, I was super excited um, when I heard. Very excited. And who made that phone call? Uh, Victor phoned me. Um, he must think I was I was literally half asleep. Said hello, like I'm sleeping. So yeah, I got a bit of a fright when I realised it was him. And how did your family react? Uh, yeah, very excited. My parents were super happy. So yeah, very cool. Tell us a little bit about your cricket journey. Um, how did you start playing the game? Um, who's been your biggest supporter and um, just getting here, um, who have been some of the people when you when you got that phone call, who did you start thinking about like, oh my gosh, I need to tell this and this and this person? Um, so I've always played cricket. Uh, I've done from wherever, from junior days all the way through. Um, my parents have definitely been big um, supporters. Um, my mom loves every moment of this stuff. Um, so yeah, so when I found out, I called, I think I called, tried to call my dad first, but then ended up calling my mom first, and she picked up, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was very really cool. And now you're here in India. Firstly, it's really hot. Um, how excited are you to just be part of this environment, and um, how have you found it so far? Yeah, it's been very welcoming. Um, yeah, I'm very excited just to be here and like you say, it's very hot, so it's it's all a new experience for me, so I'm very excited to be here. When you think about the heat, do you start making plans in your own mind around like potentially playing and how you're going to go about it and how you would go about this heat? Um, so yeah, I played here a few weeks ago and getting through fielding, I walk off the field like I've jumped in the pool, so I, I sweat a lot here. Um, so yeah, just trying to stay hydrated as much as possible. Tell us about that IPL call up. Um, was that expected? No, no, that was very out the blue. I was actually in Harare with the A side. Um, we were touring there and literally got a call in the morning and flew out that evening. So it was very, very unexpected. Though. It's crazy how quickly things can happen in life, right? Like you go from being in the A team and then you're um, slotted into the IPL and now here you are with the Proteas. Um, when you're thinking about your cricketing journey, uh, who are some of your teammates that um, might have contributed, some of your coaches and people like that? Um, so a guy named uh, Josh Van Heerden, um, he's busy playing for Border. Uh, we, when I first left school, um, he was in the EP side um, and I looked up to him and just tried to train as much as possible the way he did and yeah um, I still look or train a lot in the gym with him today um, so him and then Mike Smith um, also worked with after school um, he helped me with my batting and let's talk about your batting you were phenomenal in the T20 challenge that um, ended this past season um, how did you get there and <laughs> you know like in terms of how did you go about your preparation um, what would you say helped you to be so successful this past season? Um, so Robbie P just allowed me to play with so much freedom. Um, we obviously chatted about certain game plans, but then um, I played, tried, he let me try and just play the situation as best I could. And yeah, just enjoy myself. And like I said, just give me so much freedom to, to play. And what are some of your hopes for this India tour? Um, yeah, hopefully we can win the series and if I happen to get on the park, I'll just try and enjoy every moment. And um, finally, there's a lot of people that don't know a lot about you. So tell us about, you know, your school, um, what school did you go to? Uh, I know you said you've always played cricket, so obviously you've played cricket from a very young age. Um, what school did you go to, um, varsity and all of that? Um, so I went to Nisla Primary, then Grey High School. I was in hostel there. Um, then I went to NMU and PE. Um, still studying there, trying to finish. Um, and yeah, I then progressed uh, through the ranks, Eastern Province, then the Warriors, and so on. 
Um, so yeah, that's uh, Eastern Cape by not born, but I'm an Eastern Cape boy now. You're an Eastern Cape product. Yeah. <laughs> um, what are you studying at NMMU? Um, I'm busy with a BCom in marketing and business management. Oh, brilliant. So after this, you can help us market the proteas once you've retired. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you want me to, but yeah, I can. And how do you manage the balance between school and cricket? Um, so it hasn't clashed yet because I've been up to date. Um, well, my whole first part of the year modules are finished. So I have two modules at the end of the year now. And now I don't know how I'm going to try and figure it out um, now that things are a bit hectic. But it's not good hectic. Yes, yes, yeah. 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 Fantastic. Thank you for talking to us.